At this point, colleagues, I wish to pose a question to my colleagues in the opposition who have a genuine role to play in a country. Let me pose a question to you. And through you, the journalists, pose this question to them. We ask our colleagues in the opposition to provide alternatives to these policies that we have shown today. Provide viable alternatives, not insults. We follow what you say. We follow all your insults, but we choose not to answer you because we are focused on the work at hand. Tell us your alternative viable policies to our policies. That's what we used to do ourselves. We even, we even used to do alternative budgets. People forget. Tell us your alternatives. Not insults, not abuse, not falsehoods. If you tell a lie and you are abrogating a law, you get arrested, then you say, no, the opposition are being arrested. No, it's rule of law, remember? It's rule of law. Tell us your alternatives. What is your alternative to free education? To lay pusha. What is your alternative to free education? You have seen the impact of free education. Children who are out of school, even mothers who are 50 years old now, I have gone back to school. So tell us your alternative to educating the citizens, to also helping families who come from poor backgrounds. Tell us how you would have educated a fellow like me from the village. Is it you are saying that only your children should go to school? Tell us. What is your alternative? What is your alternative to meal allowances? You will withdraw the meal allowances. What is your alternative? So we, you want to come back and withdraw them? Well, you must tell that to the students. Tell the students that. Tell a child who was out of school and now is in school that you will be out of school soon. Go and tell the mother, a widow, a single mother, go and tell them that. Tell them, let's hear you. Tell the men and women in uniform that when you come, you withdraw the full payment of their UN allowances. Tell them. They are there in the barracks. Tell them. Tell the people of Zambia that when you come back, you cancel a 20% NAPSA partial withdrawal. Tell them. <laughs> Honestly speaking. Tell marketeers that when you come, you are going to withdraw the market booster loan. Tell them. And have a conversation with them. Tell those who are surviving on social cash transfer that you reduce the amounts which will have increased. See what conversation you will have with them. Let's see. Tell them that you take back constituents development fund to 1.6 million kwacha per constituent per year. Because I've heard them saying, how can you give so much money to a constituent? So tell them that you are going to roll back decentralization which were pushed. Tell them. Tell the citizens. Tell the citizens that your solution to the debt mountain. Tell your, your citizens why you took the economy to minus 2.8%. It is there in 2020. Why did the economy go down? Remember, we said we don't want these things. We want continuous care. Yes, a bit of a dip because of circumstances, but overall growth. So tell the citizens. Tell the citizens that you want to go back to 2015, 2016, where the economy was damaged, where people were sleeping in their homes and the, the pillow was cash. Yes, tell the citizens. Tell the citizens that it's good to borrow and create a debt mountain. Tell the citizens. Yes, tell citizens that 
cadres will be back in Soweto market and intercity. Commanders will be back and more blood will be in the market. Tell the citizens. Tell them. Tell them Kamugodu will return. Tell them that we will not be allowed to go to church as was in Chingola and live bullets will be fired. Tell the citizens that live bullets are coming again. Let me be clear here. We respect any and all advice, positive or negative. We respect, because that's the right of citizens. We may not agree with each other on how to get the economy going. So you are free to give your views. Yes, thank you. But the economy must grow. But certainly, your alternative damaged the economy. So tell us your new ideas, because the ideas that were there damaged the country. So we respect any and all advice. But I must also say, equally, equally, it is true that mutual respect no malice, facts are not lies, none abuse of one another is the hallmark of professionalism and maturity in a society. The point is that you can say what you wish, say it factually, not maliciously, don't tell lies, maintain professionalism, you can argue hotly as long as mutual respect remains, that's fine. But when you start insulting colleagues every day, based on falsehoods, you are veering in the wrong direction. That's my message to the country. And I want to thank the people of Zambia for allowing us to work with them to help reconstruct their country so we can take care of society together in different ways. God bless you. God bless Zambia. Thank you.